I have a young grandniece in upstate New York who was born with a genetic disorder. Hazel was born eight years ago. She's uh, missing a piece of her ninth chromosome. She has had a host of medical issues. Right now is in a wheelchair and uses a communication device to learn how to speak. I liked it when you used your nails like that. This summer, we were visiting my aunt and Hazel was doing some artwork. And I thought, wow, these could be really fun scarves taking children's art and then maybe we could take the proceeds from what we sell and give it to a charity that could benefit either building playgrounds or working on genetic research. Good job. Hazel, it's great. I am actually wearing a scarf that was created by a little boy in Pittsburgh who has Down syndrome. So this is the epitome of what Hazel and Friends will be. I started four decades ago in the fashion industry. And then last year, it was time to retire, but I was really not ready. I wanted to do something for myself. Scarves seem like a natural, so we found some manufacturing in India, and that's how it really all began, and we're one year old today.